Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Kisset. Today I am going to be showing you how to dress up your 3D model. We are also going to see how to export her. So let's begin. This is one of my favorite parts because we are going to give her a very pretty dress. Over here we have whole sets which are already made so we don't have to waste a lot of time selecting dresses. Yeah, but I'm going to go one by one. We can also custom them. I did make some already custom shirts. Just by clicking them, you can see her wearing it. You might recognize this clothing. Now, I'm going to go and we have so many options here. And we can make some changes if we want very slight ones uh, let me see a lot of clothes look a bit too big for them but we can always change them but I think I'm not going to go there I am going to just choose one from this I really like this but I want a different color so I'm going to go to custom and edit texture and there you go this might be a bit confusing at first but by adding some colors here and there we can get used to it quickly over here if we can make a skirt but since it's not required, I'm just going to erase it. All the settings are same as we did earlier. I'm going to give her a red outfit. This is a ribbon. But I'm not going to use that. We also have many options like shoes, innerwear, socks. But I'm going to go in a different time. So I'm going to go back to the tops. And I'm going to click X. Save as new item. Now let's give her some pants or skirts. Again, there are many options to choose from. A lot of colors and sizes. Hmm. Okay, so let me see. We can change the skirts. We can make it wider, shorter, longer. I don't like this color, so I'm going to change We can also add multiple colors, just like painting. Ooh, I like this. I think I'm going to keep this. And one more thing, we can even paint directly on the skirt. Hey, as you can see this. I'm going to save this as a new item now I know this seems like a very lengthy process but if you want to just skip the if you want to just skip it there are a lot of dresses as well and also you can always take the whole sets which comes with shoes socks all of them we have done some things in the dresses section but I'm not going to go in detail because I already love this outfit. We also have neck accessories like ties, bows. And if you don't want any, we can just click this. We can give her gloves. 
or we can custom them this I custom for bangles if you do not want to use any accessories which we are going to cover later we also have inner tops and changing it as you can see she was wearing I think this which did not show her skin since the top is very small we have inner bottoms and socks we have even very weird varieties of socks I'm going to take hmm, not a red sock but I guess this will have to do I'm going to go to shoes of course you can custom this but nah I'm just going to go to shoes over here also we have so many options a lot of variety we can just click and choose and we can also custom them when you click on this we get so many models like we have chunky sole boots loafers sneakers high cut sneakers basketball sneakers and also heels this is another shoe that i made which my 3d model wears okay now let's select a shoe which one i'm gonna go to heels and i'm going to edit texture it's not necessary to take a new one since i already did not paint one but i'm gonna use this anyway over here this is a soles i presume and this over here i think it's the yes this is the heel and i'm going to color everything red and i'm going to give a touch of yellow with this i'm gonna change the size i'm gonna give it a yellow heels As I said earlier, you can use pictures, but they tend to come out a bit stretched. I'll try to. It is still time, but yes, as you can see, here is the sticker that I kept. So yeah, I do not want that anyway, so I'm going to remove that. I think I'm pretty happy with these shoes. So I'm going to close it, save as new item. Of course, you can just overwrite it, but I'm just going to save it as new item. Now I have two plain shoes. See. Well, I'll paint it later. We can also change its sole height. And also the heel base width. Yes, so we're done with the outfit part. And now we're going to move on to accessories. We can always add an accessory like glasses or the cat ears. We also have rabbit ears. Yes, but I don't think she needs any. So I'm going to just right click and remove. Don't do that with all of them. yeah i use no accessories a lot so yes now we have the look we can change the outline width that's of her hair of her face i'm gonna zoom in so you can see it better no yes i think i like no outline better now we can change the outline width of the body like this and of the accessories, since we don't have any, I'm not going to do that. We also have rim light. I'm going to shrink her a bit. Yes. We can change the intensity. We also have shading. So like I said, we can almost change everything of our character. I'm pretty happy with this, so. 
We also have eye alignment. I rarely use these options, but for tutorial purpose, I'm just going to go ahead. We can see the inner eye. See, this eye is a bit moving. I see. And the outer of this one. Upper. I actually can't see the difference. And lower. I think the eyes are moving a bit. But I'm going to leave this like this. Then we have bones. I'm going to... This I think is very important. I don't want it to shake excessively. You can put outfit. I usually never change these. Character is ready. Now we can to save it over here. I'm going to save. I'm going to. This is where I usually store everything so that I don't lose any. I'm going to name her Sunset. I think her theme matches her name. So yes, I'm going to save. And it's done. Now I'm going to go to, and now if I need to export her for any purpose, I'm going to click on this button. We have export as VRM, upload to v Ride Hub, and export for 3D printing. I don't do 3D printing and I never did this before. I always export as VRM. I'm going to click on that. It might take some time. Mm, it's not responding. I'm going to close it. That's why I prefer saving it before doing this. I'm going to close the program and I'm going to wait. And here sunset. I'm going to click on her. I'm going to make this bigger. The screen. Yep, and we'll get sunset in a moment. Yes, there you go. Now export as BRM. Now try this again. I did not explore all the options in this because that will take a long time and I am happy with my current model. We can change her eye position. We can give her any kind of teeth. Her mouth can be changed. Oh, here's our model. We can... See, she changed her position into her hands, raising up. We get some polygon information, material, bones. I usually do not go and change any of this. I'm just going to click on export. Now we need a lot of filling up to do, but I'm going to start with the title. I'm going to name her Sunset. Creator Soko. Kiss at. I do not give any of this because I'm not going to give this for any other person use. And yes, then I'm just going to click export. Now I need to select where I need to export it. I usually export it here with all my others. Save. gonna process it it is a job pretty quickly now I'm just going to close this I don't want to go out of the right studio yes and to go back I can always go to back to model selection sunset's back and yes so here are all my other 3D models. You might see her in any festival time. And if you do not want to go to the trouble of making all of this, you can always use avatar sample A, B or C. But of course, we have to take care of the terms of use. 
we can also remove it from the list, which I'm not going to do, which means deleting it. We can rename it, duplicate it, or open the folder location. We can over here, new or open. Over here, we get all the news of what got fixed. I'll close this. Here's a lot of things if you ever want to use, like keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, differences from the beta, for beginners, settings, FAQ. So, in a nutshell, you have a lot of things to explore in this. We have a lot of options so that we can create many different kinds of 3D models. So, yeah. Now, let me show you Sunset in action. For some reason, my OBS Studio is unable to record this 3D model moving smoothly. Let me show you how the 3D model actually moves. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Hope you enjoyed making sunset with me. If you did not see part 1 of this tutorial, please do. The link is given in the description box down below. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.